My name is Dan Lippert. I'm the VP of Engineering at Gitcoin. And today I'm going to talk about uh, sustaining open source software. Um, so what do we do at Gitcoin? We try to sustain the open source community. And one of the ways we've done that is earlier this year we launched our grants project. And what grants basically is, it's like Patreon, but for open source software. Um, basically you get recurring revenue for your project. And why that's special is, if you're an open source developer, maybe every once in a while you get a donation of 1,000 or $5,000 at a time, and that's really great. But what's actually better is if you can count on a recurring amount of donations every month. And so we built that project um, using EIP-1337, which is a subscriptions model on Ethereum using meta transactions. And so basically if you were to donate, say, 100 DAI to a project, uh, instead of just sending that 100 DAI, what you can do is use our DAP, um, go in, select that you want to donate 10 DAI for 10 months, and then you simply do a signature that gets sent to our back end, and then we mine those transactions for you every month using meta transactions. Um, so it's a really great way to not just get money, but have money that you can count on. And as an open source developer, that's really great because it's, it's almost like having a, a day job, right? It's almost like working for some company or some startup where you have that guaranteed paycheck every month. Uh, one thing that we added on this year is capital constrained liberal radicalism. And what is that? Basically, it's a way that we can match funds from big donors uh, to our grant recipients. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. But basically, you can think of two models, and CLR is somewhere in between. Um, you can think of the, the model of one dollar, one vote, right? So someone donates a dollar, and then we match that with a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, right? Or you can think of one person, one vote. So one person makes a donation, be that one dollar, be that one thousand dollars, and then we match that with some predetermined fund, say a thousand dollars. Well, what CLR does is it's actually in between. It counts the fact that one dollar is not the same to every person, right? Um, but you do want to have that skin in the game, so you do want to count the amount of the donation that was made. And so CLR is a really nice balance between that. Of course, it was created by Vitalik, uh, Glenn Weil, and Zoe Hitzig. Um, definitely check out the paper. See the ETH research forums if you want to know more about how CLR works. Um, it's a really cool economic model, and it's worked out really well for us. So you can see here, um, here's like a demonstration of how the, how the funding model actually works. So you've got, whoops, you've got an amount here, say $275, and then we match that with another $275. But that's if that's just one contributor making one donation of $275. If that $275 comes from two people, that's a really good signal, right? That means more people are interested in this project, so we match it with even more funds, even though it's the same amount, $275. If you go all the way to the right here, if 10 people combined donate $275, and that's not each person, right? That's all combined. That's each person donating like $27. That's a really amazing signal that this project means something to the community, and so we match it with even more funds. And so that's, that's kind of the idea behind CLR. It's, it's not how much you donate, it's we're trying to figure out how much people care about a project using their donations as a signal. So our first round, earlier this year, 2019, we had $25,000 in our open source sustainability fund and we fielded $13,000 via 132 contributions. Here were the kind of the winners or the, the highest ranking projects on our platform, uh, Prismatic Labs, Moloch DAO, you know, a lot of great projects here. Uh, Ethers.js, one of my personal favorites. Then we went on to round two, and of course each time we want to make it even bigger, so we had $50,000 in our OSS fund, 
This time we fielded $56,000 from 214 unique contributions. And here are the projects that did well that round. Of course, the ProgPow technical audit, um, Hopper, decentralized uh, privacy preserving something, um, Plasma Group, Wallet Connect, Uniswap, Moloch Down. Um, so another successful round. And round three, we had $100,000. So what were the results? Um, before I get into that, actually, I want to talk about something that we launched on the platform that was new for this round, which is real-time estimations of how much your contribution will affect the project, how much matching funds you'll get um, as you're making the donation. So you can see here, when we have $100,000 in matching funds, your donation can make an absolutely huge difference with CLR. For this project, if you were to donate one die, we would have matched it with 115 die. If you were to donate 10 die, that would have been 274 die. And so you can see, as the amount of your donation goes up, you know, we don't donate, uh, we don't match it linearly. It kind of curves off at the end. But like I said before, the important thing is that we know that this person cares about this project. You know, we're using your donation as data to match our funds. So, um, so it was a really successful round. People were really excited that they were able to see that, hey, I can donate $1 and it actually gives over $100 to this project. So here's just some folks from our community. Um, I gave one die to six projects on Gitcoin today. And here were, here were the matches for each project. For Austin Griffith, 81 die. For Ethos.js, 89 die. For Fuzzing, 126 die. So, you know, $6 generated hundreds and hundreds of dollars in matching funds. Um, over here we have Ken um, digging some die out of his couch, so to speak, and you know, chucking in one die to, to make a big difference to these different projects and these open source developers. Um, and then another person, $4 into $645. Here we see Vitalik, excited about our grant CLR round three. Um, Hudson Jameson as well, contributing 10 die to five projects. And, you know, we're really excited when we see this type of community engagement because we feel like for too long there's been this idea in the community that there are these individual people who have a ton of ether and you can go to them on Twitter, you gotta network with people, you gotta find them, you gotta have that connection with them and then they'll give you tens of thousands of dollars for your project, right? And so it's, it's very centralized, right? We have these individual nodes that control all the funding or so people think, but actually that's not true, you know? Um, as a community, we have hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people who are interested in open source software, interested in Ethereum, and we want their attention, we want their uh, input as to where these funds should go. You know, what projects are worthwhile for the community. You don't need to have thousands of Ether to help us determine which projects are needed. And so that was kind of our goal with CLR, that's the goal behind our open source sustainability fund. And so the round three results, $100,000 in matching funds and 170,000 across 2,216 unique contributions. The Elite Eight, Lighthouse, Austin Griffith, ETH Hub, RDI, Prism, Viper, the Gas Stations Network, and Ethers JS. So congratulations to the winners of our latest CLR round. We're excited for the next round. Our goal is to raise $150,000 for our open source sustainability fund. If you want to contribute, reach out to me, reach out to Kevin Iwaki, reach out to Aditya, uh, any of the Gitcoin team members, and we'll let you know how you can help out. And finally, I just want to ask, what would the world look like if open source was sustainable? What would it look like if the people who build these tools could get paid for it and have a guaranteed paycheck every month? Thank you.